Clubhouse is available on Android, Night Shift does nothing, and PS5s are going to remain impossible to find. How's it going everybody? This is Dave LeClaire with MEO Tech Bytes, and I'm here to take you on a journey through the latest from the world of technology news. It is Monday, which means the weekend has passed, and the tech news still happened all weekend long because nobody ever takes any time off around these parts. So, without further ado, here's our first story, now. So if you're the proud owner of an Android device and you've been waiting to try out Clubhouse, you've probably been disappointed because the app came out on iOS a year ago and it's still not on Android. Until now, there is a beta version of Clubhouse available on Android, so you can hop on there, get in some rooms, learn some stuff, host some rooms, do all the fun Clubhouse stuff, and you can do it right now if you're in the US. Now, unfortunately, the Clubhouse beta for Android is missing quite a few features, so you're going to have to wait. The developers have said that they plan to implement all of these features going forward, but for the time being, they're gonna be missing, so you're not gonna get the full Clubhouse experience, but you'll get the bulk of it. Here's some of the stuff they plan on adding in the near future. Topic following, localization and in-app translation, club creation or club management, Twitter account or Instagram account linking, updating name or updating username in-app, a sidebar, payments, and currently you can report someone from their profile but reporting via the recent speaker choice is coming soon so there's some stuff missing but it's definitely a good glimpse into what clubhouse could be in the future on android we'll have to wait and see if all of this comes to fruition and if clubhouse ends up being as big as it has the potential to be but for the time being why not check out the beta there's no harm in giving it a shot and in our next story a new study says that night shift on your phone may in fact be useless a study published by brigham young university tested three groups of individuals and it found that using night shift may not actually help you sleep any better. In fact, it found that using your phone before going to bed may not actually be as much of a negative as we always thought it was. It might not make a difference in your sleep quality whether or not you use your phone, whether or not you use your phone with night shift, or whether or not you don't use a phone at all. So the three groups were divided up into users with night shift on their phone, users using their phone as normal, and users with no phones at all. And what they found was pretty shocking. There was no discernible sleep difference between any of the three groups. The only difference that they found was in people who slept more than seven hours, those who didn't use a phone got slightly better sleep, but those who use their phone on night shift or those who use their phone regular saw no difference. So before you go switching that night shift on and looking at all those orange and yellow hues on your phone, maybe take a second to think about it. Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe it is. Again, this is only one study. This is not the be all end all. But it does kind of make you think, perhaps looking at your phone before bed isn't such a bad thing. And in our final story of the day, and this is some kind of bad news if you've been looking to get your hands on a PS5, PS5 shortages are going to continue all the way through 2021 and into 2022. Sony has said that they will not be able to meet demand in spite of launching the console in China, which seems like a baffling decision. Why would you launch the console in a new region when you can't even fulfill demand of the current regions? But either way, if you're thinking about getting a PS5, make sure to keep those notifications on because it will be difficult to find one for the time being. Don't buy them from a scalper, please. Make the scalpers sit on their inventory of PS5 so they lose their money. That would be great. Nobody wants to support scalpers. But if you do want to support something, make sure to subscribe to MUO and make sure to turn on notifications so that you know when there's a new episode of MUO Tech Bytes available every single day of the week. Hopefully in 2022, things will level out and we will be able to just walk into a store and find a PS5 and maybe even an Xbox Series X too. It seems crazy to think that these consoles have been out for this long and we still have shortages. I personally do not remember a console launch where the shortages lasted for this long, but then again, everything is short and the world is completely unconventional because we are living in a pandemic. So it's kind of hard to compare it to console releases of the past. I mean, chips are short, you can't get a video card, everything is out of stock. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this episode of MEO Tech Bytes is over. I hope that one, you will click that like button, two, you will subscribe, three, you will turn on notifications, and four, you'll leave a comment saying, what's up, Dave? And with that, I will see you in the next episode.